All right, shalom, shalom. First off, and foremost, as always, I want to say, call him la Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And a shalom to the Akim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson titled, um, this world is at its end, okay? This present world that we live in, which is temporal and very wicked, ran by Esau Elam, is at its end. Or should I say, Esau's world is at its end, you know? And, um, you know, before the apostles became, excuse me, before the, the disciples at the time became apostles, you know, they uh, actually have a shy, you know, when it's going to be the end, you know, of the world. You know, and um, when you simply go into the, the, the Blue Letter Bible and look into that world or, or, you know, the word world in Matthew 24 and verse three, you know, I read it real quick. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately. Right. You know, so that goes to show that, you know, um, these secrets, you know, that uh we that has been bestowed upon us and given to us you know not all israel know you know not the not you know the whole world knows because of course you know you have jake waking up and knowing that they're israelites but that's how far that's how far that they go you know they don't go any farther you know any any farther than you know than that okay you know their uh surface level or entry level uh you know, pursuant to the book of Ezekiel 37, it says, uh, all they, you know, got upon them was the flesh, but they didn't get, you know, that breath, which represents, you know, the wisdom, knowledge of the scriptures, ultimately, you know, the Holy Spirit. Right. And it says, um, uh, came on, came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and and of the end of the world. Okay, now for the ones that's new watching and new to the truth, we go into this particular word world. And uh, Matthew 24 and verse 3, the word there is eon. Strong's G165, I own. I own. All right, uh, I own or eon, it says. And right there, right here for the meaning of the word eon, it says. Um, a period of time or an age, okay, forever, a period of time, eternity, right? So, so, and uh, basically, like uh, how people say, like in an era, you know, this moment in time or this this this, this certain period, you know, in in history, you know. So we're living in in a kingdom where it's being reigned by Esau, and the whole world right now is under Esau's thumb, but soon. You know, if you know, if you're, you know, in this truth and you see, you know, and you uh see the signs that Yahweh Shai, you know, warn us about, you can clearly see that we're living the last days of the last days. Because when you even read down, let's keep going. Verse four says, any Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. OK, so, you know, uh, keep in mind that the disciples at the time before they became apostles, the actual Yahweh Shai. You know, when is going to be the sign of your coming, meaning your second return, your second coming, right, to deliver us and of the end of Esau's world, basically. And Yahweh Shai proceeds to say, verse 4, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahweh Shai, or I, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And you see that, you know, not only amongst the Christian community, but amongst the Israelite community. You know, you have a lot of, you know, wicked, you know, uh, I don't, you have a few wicked Israelite, you know, leaders that are false prophets. You know, they're, they're wicked shepherds and leading, you know, leading Jake down to a path of destruction, you know, which, you know, that means that these Israelite leaders that claim to be righteous, they have a lot of blood in their hands because they're not giving, you know, Jake, you know, the, uh, the full scoop, right? And... How shall I proceed to say in verse six? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see, so 
you know, this whole, you know, war with, you know, um, between Amalek and Ishmael out over there in the Middle East. You know, you know, you're seeing things turn up, you know, pretty rapidly. You know, now Iran is involved, you know, and it's just going to keep growing, you know, into a full blown World War Three because war is right now. You know, war has started. You know, they're actually at war right now. But just like how Shai said, but the end is not yet, which I'll continue to read. And, and real quick, when we go into the word rumor in uh, Matthew 24 and verse 6, the word there is uh, uh, oi in the Greek, Akoi. Uh, 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 Let's see what he says. Strong's G 189, Aka. Oh, Aka. Aka. Okay, excuse me. Ako A. And right here it says um, a hearsay report or rumor, you see? So it's, it's so it's, it's so that's what it is, a rumor. You know, something that you know um is constantly talked about, constantly, you know, being, you know, um being uh put out there in the forefront, something that is, you know, um, you know, the topic at hand, you know. You know, and basically a rumor is something that, uh, you know, at times it can, you know, it, it can be something that's said in the surface, but it's not backed by any, you know, hardcore, you know, uh, uh, proof. Right. So what we're seeing right now is wars and rumors of wars. Like, for example, even though they're at war right now, but for example, you know, they can say uh, such and such is going to, you know, uh, do, you know, Iran is going to you know, uh, uh, and, uh, go, you know, drop this, this bomb over here, you know, in, in two weeks, you know, but that's just a rumor of war, you know, but that's just going to show you that these, the, that, that these are one of the signs that, uh, in, and I'm speaking as a man, of course, you know, just that, that's not a real scenario. I'm just saying that for an example of this particular precept, but, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, further that we, are definitely in the last days of the last days. And what we're seeing is definitely signs, you know, of the end and signs of Yahweh Shah's return. You see, so, so, this, so this is all good news for us. You see, and bad news for the wicked, right? So Yahweh Shah proceeds to say in verse 6, and it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because prophecy must be fulfilled to the fullest extent. Regardless, it got to be fulfilled. It got to, the Lord, you know, has to go through with his plan, right? The Lord is a man that he should not lie. The, you know, it says that the, the words of the Lord is not going to return unto him void, okay? So the end is not yet, okay? A key word, yet, because the end is going to happen regardless, you know? Verse 7, it says, for nation shall rise against nation. We're seeing that, right? And kingdom against kingdom, we're seeing that as well. You know, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, Russia is basically, you know, telling, you know, uh, Babylon, you know, uh, hey, um, don't don't cross this this nuclear red line because if we do, it's it's gonna be, you know, some 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 uh, some uh, repercussions. You know, um, uh, it says, um, oh yeah, then you have uh, you know, Lebanon going back and forth with you know Ishmael and. I mean, uh, with Amalek and vice versa with Amalek unto Lebanon, unto, you know, Ishmael, right? And it says, um, and there shall be famines, you see, and um, speak as a man, but the, with this whole pork strike, you know, which over here, that's happening over here on the East Coast, okay? But uh, that whole pork strike, you know, that's very detrimental. That's real right now. That's happening. You know, those, um, those uh, laborers, they're at strike because... All they asked was for a dollar raise, but Esau doesn't want to give that to them. So they're going to go on strike and that can cause a, a, a huge, you know, body blow to the ch to the, uh, the the chain supply. Because without them, you know, then nothing can go on the shelves. No food, you know, no, no items, you know, basic necessities, you know. So that right there alone can cause a huge famine. You see, but how I said that there shall be famines. OK, people die of starvation. OK, and even on the spiritual side of that, of this famine, is going to be a, a famine of the word of, of hearing the words of Yahweh Shema Shai very, very soon. It's, you know, it's going to be a famine of hearing the gospel 
of the Lord, you know, because this word, you know, this this gospel, you know, this this truth is likened unto a a roll, meaning what like 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 bread, spiritual bread, right? You eat it. That's why in the book of Ezekiel, three verse one, the Lord says, "Eat the roll and go teach the house of Israel." Okay, loosely paraphrasing it, meaning what? Meaning study, you know, you know, you know, gobble up, you know, this word as much as you can to to go edify. You see, but a lot of people, you know, they don't want to take heed and uh, adhere to this doctrine of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, the truth. They don't want to repent, you know, and come back to the Lord. So once the fame of the word happens, you know, they're all going to be confounded. And then, you know, they're going to realize that a prophet had truly, you know, or should I say prophets were truly among them. OK, and, and you can read that the fame of the word in um, Amos 8 around the ninth to like the 11th verse or start at the eighth to like the 10th verse, you know. And it says, um, <clears throat> and pestilences, right? So uh, 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 diseases, you've seen that, you know, the uh, the mpox, you know, the uh, the uh, the uh, the bird flu, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? It says, and earthquakes, and diverse places, and it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. You see, so Esau is definitely at his end, and we're seeing all these things. And let's not forget, we go to the book of Joel, okay? Joel 2 and verse um, 30, and it says, And I will shoot wonders in the heavens and in the earth, uh, and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord uh, Yahweh Bashmar Shai come, you see, and what's that talking about? That's that's referring to the uh the uh the blood moons in the sky, you know, the uh the uh the eclipse the eclipses the, you know, that we that we have seen in the past and that we have seen up to now. Okay, there was I believe there was a uh this past month of September or um August. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, this past month in September. Okay, there was a, there was a, 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 a super moon, and there was, an um, a uh, what the hell was it? It was like some kind of, what was it? Um, oh yeah, you had a super moon. I believe you had another lunar eclipse, if not mistaken, and then, you know, a couple months back, you had you know the Great American Eclipse, which that was huge. Which that was very spiritual. That was a great sign in the heavens, you know. And these people in Babylon, they just think that it was just some another random, you know, event that you careless Babylons can just tune in and see. No, that was a sign of your demise, a sign of the end, a sign of the end of America, a sign of the end of uh, 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 Esau, man, a sign of the end of these heathens ruling over us. You see. So this place doesn't have much time left, okay? And, and, and you know, I speak as a man, but I'm very excited to see how, you know, this election is going to play out, you know, because they're, they're saying, you know, Trump doesn't get in, there's going to be civil war, you know, and but if, you know, Kamala gets in, you know, then, hey, man, this place is through. So really, so really it's a win-win situation for us, you know, for the, the servants, the believers of Yahweh Bashim Shai, because however you... Way you want to cut it, Babylon is out the window. This place is coming to a great stop, man. Okay. Uh, back in Matthew 24. Let's see here. And verse 31. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse... Uh, 32 and it says now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it for the leaves ye know that summer is nigh so likewise you see so likewise ye when ye shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors you see okay now now you have a shy this right here is a parable of you have a shy now he's putting forth a parable and giving an analogy and how 
when you see, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, when you see, uh, you know, leaves in the summer or, or like, for example, when you see leaves and things in the spring, when, you know, when you see things bloom, you know that the spring is nigh. So what you have a saying right here, you know, basically when you see when, when you're in summer, you see that things are starting to bloom. Things are starting to, you know, blossom. Right. So so I use that example as, you know, to go further into prophecy, to use that analogy you know, basically, to, you know, saying that when you see these signs, you know, signs of the end, you know that, you know, the end is nigh and that my return is uh, uh, upon this world. You know, when you see, you know, um, more talks of World War Three, when you see more earthquakes, when you see, you know, uproars of the people, you know, more protesting, the more, you know, pushback, you know, uh, uh, from the, you know, ground level citizens amongst, towards the government, you know. Uh, more pestilences, you know, uh, uh, more, you know, famines. You see, you know, you you are seeing, you know, the signs of the end because just like how I said right here in verse 33, I read it one more time. It says, so likewise ye, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, right? You know, the signs of the, of the prophecies, right? Know that it is near even at the doors, you see? And ultimately, you know, it, uh, uh, these signs that we see right here, that's prophecy, you know, earthquakes, you know, uh, the Lord, the, the, you know, the Lord just had, you know, Hurricane uh, uh, Helene just go through, you know, the south and just do some damage. People are still, you know, I believe if I'm not mistaken, people are still without power, you know, and, you know, and, and big praise for you. You Anki out there. That's in Florida. Um, where else did it hit? I believe. Um. And a few other states, I'm not mistaken, you know, but big praise up to you brothers out there and, and you few sisters out there that are, you know, um, enduring, you know, you know, may the Lord protect you out there, and, you know, in your household, you know, because that's no joke, man, because the, the Lord is visiting the earth, you know. So, yeah, man, we're definitely at the end, you know, definitely at the end. OK. Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. And it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Meaning what? Meaning the prophecies are going to happen when the Lord deems it fit to happen. Okay. But just know that we are definitely living in the last days in that appointed time. And it says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, so even though it may seem like it's not happening today or tomorrow or, you know, next week, just know is happening okay be patient okay the scriptures say you know patience possess ye your souls so we must endure you know for the elect's sake and wait upon you how about shamal shai you know and wait upon his prophecies to be fulfilled because this is the lord's movie okay we're not on our time we're on the lord's time and people are going to soon realize that you know people upon this earth that they're on you know the most highest time they're on they're on you how about Shemal Shai's time? Because this is his reality. You know, this is his movie. You know, people are going to realize soon that whatever they've been doing their whole lives is not going to mean nothing. It's, it's all vain because prophecy is going to change that. It's going to alter the reality. OK, people are soon going to enter the reality, which ultimately is prophecy because prophecy is reality. Just waiting to happen. OK. Because you, uh, what we do is prophesy through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, which means to say before it happens. So what we are doing is saying, you know, the prophetic events through the spirit of the Lord before they come to pass. You see, that's reality right there. All right. And we wait until it to happen, man. You know, so Esau is done, you know, and we're going to, you know, continue to preach this word until the Lord deems it fit. You know, and we just going to sit back, wait upon you, how about Shemal Shai, and, you know, and, and just let the Lord do his work like he's doing right now. Okay. I'm going to get this last precept and I'm going to end off on this. This right here is one of my favorite precepts, man. This second edge of six and verse, uh, I start seven and it says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? 
And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And like I said, if you're new to this truth, you know, tuning in, you can read that account of our forefather Jacob, okay, uh, and, uh, and the uh, forefather of the Edomites Esau, coming out the womb in the book of Genesis 25, they were, you know, basically fighting in, uh, in, in the womb of Rebekah, okay, but Esau came out first. But as Esau came out, you had, you know, the hand of our forefather Jacob hold on to the hill of, you know, Esau's hill. And that was uh, representing, that was symbolic of the pulling down, you know, the, the uh, of Esau's kingdom. And what we are doing is pulling down Esau's kingdom spiritually, not physically, but spiritually by the preaching of this gospel through Yahweh Basham al Shai. That's why it says, I, I believe the book of 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, around the, the third or like fourth verse, it says, um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are spiritual. You see? So we are so, meaning what? Meaning that the Lord is using us as his mouthpiece to spiritually bring down this wicked ass empire ran by Esau by preaching the gospel. You see, we don't got to lift the finger, man, but but keep faith, you know, you know, anyhow, shine, believe that name. OK, the Lord is doing everything, man. That's why he says in the book of uh, what's that? Second Thessalonians. I believe the the first or second chapter, but, you know, but you, it's, it's a quick search. You know, you can look it up. OK, but the, the book of uh, Second Thessalonians, it uh, it uh it says, um, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit of his mouth hath consumed him, meaning that, you know, the Lord is using us to expose Esau, you know, to, uh, to expose all his wicked, evil ass plans that he has going on in the dark, you see? So he's being exposed on all levels. Okay. And, and, and his kingdom is, is being, you know, um, uh, is coming down to, uh, you know, is, is us, is, uh, it's uh, going down the drain, for lack of better words, all right? So Esau is being pulled down, man, okay? Verse 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? For Esau, okay, he's the end of the world, all right? Who's ruling right now? Esau, okay? And Jacob is... Is the beginning of it that follow it, and that and that's when we're gonna live for all eternity. We're gonna have new bodies. We're gonna be righteous forever. We're gonna we're never gonna die. We're gonna have the the you know the uh the joy of seeing our children's 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 children's, children's, children's you know grow up and be you know uh, amazing and beautiful. You know you know you know the the the, the brotherhood man. You know. Everything, man, is going to be righteous. You know, the animals, the earth, everything is going to be back to how it's, you know, back to how it's supposed to be, you know, back to how it was, you know. This place, earth, this this planet is meant to, you know, is meant to, you know, be a paradise. But right now it's hell. It's hell for, you know, the Israelites, you know, it's hell for Jacob. But right now it's heaven for Esau because his heaven is, is demonic, you know, it's wicked, it's. A big ball of confusion, and that's how he likes it, because his spirit is contrary to our spirit. He's evil. He, he you know, he, he's the son of the wicked, but, but we're the sons of the most high, you know. But the ultimate goal is to be, you know, the Israel of the most high, meaning what? The elect, you know, to be delivered in these last days, to be delivered out of that um, nuclear destruction, you see, which ultimately is going to destroy you know, this place Babylon, a.k.a. America, you know, and that's what we hope for, which we know is going to happen. But that's our faith, you know, and while, and while people are, you know, caught up in the, 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 the uh, distractions of British Circus, of this whole P. Diddy scandal and all things of that nature, you know, we're, we're looking past that, you know, and looking at prophecy and waiting on the Lord to, uh, you know, come back, return and deliver us, man, and destroy this place, you know. So Esau's war is definitely at his end. Okay. So with that being said, I just want to say call him Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. 
double honor be unto the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. And then shalom to you, Anki Mount there. Let's push this truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kawadash, and Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified. That being said, shalom.